Hey, how's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be making a video. We're going to be talking about iPerf. Um, so what iPerf is, is an open source network performance testing tool designed to measure throughput, latency, and other key metrics of the network connection. It allows you to assess the performance of network links, routers, switches, and other networking uh, devices. iPerf is widely used by the network administrators, systems engineers, individuals who need to evaluate and optimize network performance. Okay, on the left side, we have the server, and on the right side, we have the client, okay? So, to explain to you guys how it works, um, on the right side, we're going to use the iperf command with the dash S, which will put it in server mode and give all the default options. On the right side, I'm going to put it in client mode with the dash C and give it the address of the server that I'm trying to connect to. When I do that, as you see here, it has a, all the default settings are here. We'll give it a second. As in a, this one is going to measure the um, throughput measurement, but beforehand, the way we set it up is the client server model. iperf operates in a client server architecture, which where one of one instance of the iperf acts as the server, like the one on the left, and the other acts as the client. So the server listens for the incoming connections while the client generates the tr network traffic. Right now, what I did, it measured the throughput measurement. So it measures the maximum available bandwidth throughput between the uh, client and the server. It helps identify uh, network bottlenecks and determine the capacity of the network um, link. As you see here on the right side, uh, the bandwidth um, it was able to send it was about um, 985 megabits. And this is the total of data that it transferred. So you see how big the data bus or the data... Um, tunnel is is about 985 megabits. So this gives you a little bit of insight of what is it's able to generate. All right, the next thing we're going to try is a couple of different options here. So we can actually be specific and say, hey, we want only 50 up to 50 uh, megabits to be sent. Um, and we want the interval of one second. And um, we can press enter. And here it will just keep sending replies or sending traffic, I mean, to the server. We're going to wait till it's done. As you see here, um, it sent multiple uh, uh, multiple packets. As you hear, as you see here, it's 52 megabits was the maximum it can send. And over here, you see that the how much it transferred for each interval. One second, two second, three second, four second, five second, six seconds. And then over here, it gives you the total of data. So the total was 62.6 megabytes of data and it tells you basically the average was 52.5 megabits uh, per second all right so the next thing i'm going to show you is how to test for jitter interval i can put one okay looks like it's working now nice now we're going to let that run and this will actually give you some more information and you see how the jitter went down maybe because i was having issues earlier if you ever see like the screen like blank you can press enter sometimes the data doesn't populate and you have to press enter for it to to show up so here same thing we get very similar results but the good thing is that no data was lost and remember you can also change the ports that you test it on so you can also test ports. And the reason why you want to do this is because maybe you have a service that you want to test. So what we can do is um, use TCP and we'll use like port 8080. Right, just click the P. And then over here, I'm going to clear my screen. And then I'm going to do the iperf. And then I'm going to give it a port. I'm going to give it port 8080. Once I have this set up, I can send data through it. You see it with through, uh, through port 80. So pretty much like the options are endless. Um, if you look in the man page, you can do many things. But this is how you test the uh, bandwidth. So you saw we tested the bandwidth. We're able to see like I can get up to like 985 megabits. And then we're able to test for um, other options just like to get jitter information. Also, we can change the ports. We can put in UDP mode and uh, many more. All right. Thank you guys very much. And uh, please subscribe if you need any other videos. Uh, please let me know. I'll be working on some more videos weekly. And I appreciate you guys watching. If I missed anything, please let me know. I'm always trying to improve my content.